Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Not too long ago, Gale Force 9 released a game called Another Glorious Day in the Core. That was a game that before it came out, I was really looking forward to, and I even ended up putting it in a video last year of my most anticipated games. However, when it came out, I realised from looking at playthroughs that it wasn't going to be a game that I was interested in, which was a shame. So I just went back to playing Alien vs Predator The Hunt Begins instead. But I was thinking there's probably a lot of people who now have aliens based miniatures and it might be useful to have some painting guides for those. As I already have painting guides for aliens, face huggers and eggs on my channel, I thought it was time to do a painting guide for the colonial marines. So in this video I'm going to look at speed painting a unit of five colonial marines. These are of course the miniatures from Alien vs Predator The Hunt Begins. I have started with the Chaos Black Primer and the first task will be to deal with the camouflaged clothing. To do that I'm putting down two thin coats of Ogryn camo. One of the big problems with painting miniatures based on aliens is you have two choices really. You can paint the actual colours that things were or you can paint them the way they looked on screen because the excellent mood lighting in the movies often change the way that those items looked on screen. If you paint the items as they are genuinely coloured, they won't really look like they looked on screen. But that's what I'm doing here. I've looked at some online resources and I'm basing my painting scheme roughly on those. With the Ogryn Camo Dry, we're going to switch to Xandri Dust. And what I'm doing here is I'm putting small blotches on those areas because we're going to build up a camouflage pattern. We don't want to go too far with this or do too much because at this scale it can look a little bit messy and weird. But we just want to make sure we're getting different colours in the camouflage. And to that end we're also going to do the same thing with some Death Guard Green. We're going to make sure that the Death Guard Green crosses over some of those brown areas, goes in different directions to build up that pattern. We're then going to switch to Screaming Skull and we're going to do a dry brush over those camouflaged areas. This is just going to bring out the raised details of the miniature. We don't want to go too heavy with this dry brush because it will start to wipe out everything we've done with the paint so far. And then we're going to do an Agrax Earthshade wash. We're going to wash all of those areas that we've painted so far. This is going to do the recess shading, but it's also going to help to tie together the different layers of the camouflage paint. And make everything look a little bit grungy as well. We're now going to move on to the flesh, and I'm using the same flesh tone for all five miniatures. That's because I'm speed painting and I just want to use the same colours and do it quickly. If I was taking more time I'd mix up the skin tones and because I have some leader characters later on I can do some different skin tones with those. I have a sergeant who I'm obviously going to paint up like a pwn. But for these five characters here they are all getting a Cadian flesh tone quick and easy paint scheme. So with the Cadian flesh tone dry it's a Reichland flesh shade wash. Again to bring out that recess shading, bring out the details. Take care not to get it over the camouflage you've already painted. Other than that, you don't need to be too careful. And then I am going to just go back very, very quickly with the caddy and flesh tone and bring out the raised details, the nose, the chin, the cheekbones, a little bit of the musculature on the arms. But again, this is going to be a very quick job. Just a couple of seconds for the most obvious details. We now need to deal with the armour. We're going to start with a base coat of Caliban Green and you can pretty much get away with one coat of this because if any of the black shows through or any of the camouflage that's spilled over onto those areas it will actually pretty much add to what we're doing here anyway. But of course you can put two coats down if you prefer. But this is going to go on the shin guards, it's going to go on the chest guard and it's also going to go on the gloves. You will notice as well, by the way, that the helmet of my soldier has magically become painted as you've been watching because I completely forgot to do it to begin with and I only noticed when I was painting the face of the miniatures that I'd completely overlooked painting the helmets. The helmets have been painted in exactly the same way as the trousers. 
if you want to, you can paint them the same way as the body armor instead. We now need to camo up this armor a little bit. So we're using some Death Guard Green and we're just going to put little patterns on. I'm not really just splodging it. I'm trying to do it in little lines and shapes. But you don't need to be too careful with it. We're working at a very small scale here. The most important thing is just to make sure there's a little bit of color variation in there to give that sense that there is a camouflage pattern. And we're going to do this all the way around the miniature on all of the areas where we have coated with Caliban. And then we're going to switch to Dryad Bark. And we're going to do the same thing again. So we're putting little scratchy marks of Dryad Bark all over the body armor. The other thing we're going to do with the Dryad Bark is we are going to paint the boots. And we are also going to paint all of the weapons and accessories. The Pulse Rifles are actually brown in the movie, although they never look brown. So I'm going with that, I'm just going to paint them up in brown. And I'm not going to worry too much about picking out the little details on them either. Remember, this is a speed painting job that I'm doing here. I'm now switching back to my Agrax Earthshade, brand new pot everybody. And this is going to go over all of the Caliban green areas and everywhere that I've coated with Dryad Bark as well. As with the trousers and the helmet, the Agrax Earthshade will tie together the different colours in the camouflage paint, whilst also providing recess shading and dirtying everything up a little bit. With that done, we really just need to deal with the base now. These bases, I'm just going to coat with Lead Belcher, making sure I don't get it over the boots or anything on the miniatures. If you want to, you can pick out little details in the base. There's little broken pipes and things like that. You can do different colours on those if you want to. I do that in a few areas, but for the most part, I'm just going to do lead belcher over everything. And then finally, we will coat those bases with nylon oil, a good dose of nylon oil to make sure it goes into all of the grid work and makes all of those details pop. And once that's dry, that's a done deal. That is completely finished. Here we have our Marine in all his glory, ready for battle. And here is the full squad of five. They were all painted in exactly the same way. Some of them had a few minor little differences that had to be dealt with, such as pipe work on the bases, but all very straightforward and pretty much all painted the same way, very quickly in an afternoon. And while they are by no means the best paint jobs in the world, I am very happy with how they've turned out. And these guys are now ready to go on a bug hunt. But that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.